Hello, welcome to my first how-to video. This one's going to be about how to keep your Persian cat's face clean. Um, first of all, you need to gather your materials that you want to use for cleaning. Um, I use these face pads that are actually for makeup. I usually peel them so they're in um, half, which uh, I find makes them easier to use. Um, either pieces of toilet tissue or um, you can use kitchen towel that you rip up. Um, earbuds, the cotton double-ended earbuds are very useful, I find. You also want your eye solution um, for helping clear the tear stains and also um, a powder um, which will help prevent the stains taking hold and just keep the face that much cleaner. There are various brands. Um, I recommend that you try them uh, to see which one works best for you and your cat. Okay, so this is uh, the cat I'm going to be demonstrating with, um, Elsa, who is a chinchilla Persian. I haven't cleaned her eyes for a few days, so as you can see, they're quite mucky. Um, so first of all, what I start off by doing is just drying the area around the eyes to remove any dampness. I just use the tissue for this and gently, don't press too hard, just wipe away any dampness on the uh, the face and around the eyes and the tissue actually absorbs this up quite well as you can see <laughs> Good girl. once you've done that you then use either your um, makeup pad or the earbud depending um, I find the earbuds do get into the crease of the eye quite well but we'll try with this makeup pad put plenty of the liquid on And then you just wipe across the eye and the cheek and in what they call the gutter, which is the part go on, um, along outside the nose here um, to get rid of all of the dried on tear, um, which is usually black and um, any staining. And as you can see, the stain comes off onto the the pad just keep uh, going until you get as much off as you can and, uh, and then you do the other eye okay lots of fluid it just helps to remove it Okay, good girl. You may find that the um, the tears will encroach onto the nose, particularly up in this uh, the stop area. So you want to make sure you clean that bit as well. Um, Else is quite open face, so she doesn't have such a problem there. But if you have a more ultra faced Persian, then you may find that you get a lot of staining and a lot of tears collect up here. You need to make sure you don't press on the actual eyeball itself too firmly because the cat will find that painful. And again, you can see the staining coming off. Good girl. Okay. There we go. I usually um, just use the towel again, the um, tissue, to dry the face once you've used the uh, liquid. Good girl. And now comes the powdering. Um, I find it easiest to put on using a little makeup brush like this. Um, it's an eyeshadow brush, this one. You can get bigger ones, obviously, um, if you find that um, easier to use, particularly around the cheeks, but I find this one is good. So you just load up your brush, like so, and then very carefully, you just brush it in to the gutter area, under the eye, where the tears will collect on the, the cheek, of the cat 
also just above the upper eyelid uh, lids because um, you can get some tear tat staining there too good girl and the other eye too um, don't be afraid to put plenty of powder on um, because it really does help to absorb the tears as they come out onto the face good girl Uh, I also do the bridge of the nose just to make sure that you keep the tear staining off there. Good girl. Uh, and I put some into the cheek fur as well. Good girl. Good girl, Elsa. Uh, because it just helps if any tears come off onto the, um, the cheek area. And there we go. That basically is it. That's all you have to do.